Hi, my name is Jeff Agus. Uh, I've played for Clive Charles with the 2000 Olympic team and with the national team in 1998. First of all, that team was the, uh, the team that went the furthest ever in the Olympics and, and to this day is, is still there. And we hope that the team in Paris changes that. Uh, but just the mark on U.S. soccer from an Olympic perspective uh, was something that Clive has a lasting history with. But I would uh, absolutely uh, support and back Clive to be nominated for consideration to be in the Hall of Fame. I think he has greatly impacted the sport, but more importantly impacted the people uh, who are on the wall now, who are on the wall in the future, um, and I think he is, has a deserving space in that, in that uh, hall. You know, Clive's influence over everybody's lives, whether they went on as a player or a coach or they're doing something else, I think lives on. We all are a part of Clive because we had that experience. And it's a shame he was taken early. Um, I think he had a lot more to give. And I think, you know, we are, we are the ones that don't get the opportunity to live through that. But um, for the time he was here, he was just an immense personality. He was an incredible gift, not only to the game, but for the people who knew him. Yeah, if I remember, I, I, I mean, this was the MLS Cup final. We just won it, and I think Clive had just passed that year. And as a defender, I knew that there was very little chance I was going to score a goal. <laughs> but in the odd uh, instance that, that I would have scored a goal, I wanted to recognize Clive. I wanted people to know what he meant to me, what he meant to the game. And so I put on this undershirt, uh, we miss you Clive. And I really didn't get a chance to show that to the public or, you know, um, find a way to get it out into the world until after the game and when, when I was receiving the, the trophy. Uh, and I remember that just so clearly, um, and it, I think it was just an honor for him and, and to honor him in terms of the people who he impacted, and certainly myself included. You don't come across these type of people in your life often. And, um, when you do, and especially for the short time we knew Clive, it was just a comet and it was coming through and burning bright. and. Um, anybody in its path got sucked into it. And it was just an incredible opportunity to meet somebody that I know I'll never come across again in, in my life. And I'm better for it, we're better for it, the game's been better for it. I just wish he had more time. Yeah, it's tough. I'd wanna thank him. I think he made you know people better. He made me better. And even when I was one of the older players uh, on the Olympic team and one of the older players with the national team, he just made people better. And he, he made people love the game, love one another. Um, he was the glue, I think, that brought everybody together. He was who you wanted to be around, always had a good story, always had a good joke, just uh, an incredible, incredible person.